Hi everyone, welcome back to Ellie Pops Bespoke YouTube channel. Today I am going to be showing you some beginner techniques, how to attach clips to bows. It's one that's requested quite a lot, so I thought I'd um, give it its own separate uh, video rather than showing you how to do it within another video. So here is one of my glitter type bows and it has the clip on the back. This is a 65 millimeter alligator clip, but today I'm going to show you how to add a 45 millimeter alligator clip to a ribbon bow. So it's the exact same method every time you're just using a different type of fabric or material or ribbon. So what you need to do is make your bow. This is one of my pinwheel bows. It's going to be a school bow and I've just made the bow. So it's got a base and it's got a top part and then I turn it over onto the back. Then we get our alligator clip, which is just the ones with the teeth and literally just put some glue along this flat side. Not lots that is going to seep out, but enough to stick it. And then we just stick it to the back of that bow and I kind of off center it. So there's more on this side than there is on this side. And that's purely because I'm gonna be gripping this side with my thumb to open it up. And if it's further over this end, I get a little bit more leverage to open it up. So once that is actually stuck, I get my center ribbon. Now for the centers of ribbon bows, I use the nine or 10 millimeter gross grain for the centre of my glitter bows, I just use one of the fabrics that I have used. On this one, I've used the glitter the same as the top. Um, and I cut a strip that is 10 mil in width. So what we do is we make sure that this end of this ribbon is heat sealed with um, a lighter or a candle. If I can get mine to work. There we go. So just heat seal the ends of that ribbon and then holding your clip in your opposite hand to your glue gun so you can open it. We just open that clip up and we pop a little bit of glue where the centre of the bow is just on that clip and then we get the ribbon or fabric whichever way we're doing it and we pop it in there and just push it down onto that glue. Now if you can see it's just on the clip it's not glued to the ribbon yet it's just on the clip so it's glued into the middle of the clip and we close the clip then what we do is we get the ribbon and we just wrap it round the bow and then when we get to this side I overlap it onto the clip and just hold it in place and then cut using the edge of the teeth of that clip I use the edge of those teeth to get my scissors into that groove and just cut that ribbon and that should be the right length. And then what we do is unravel that again. It's already glued in so it won't come off and we just, again, heat seal the end of that ribbon. Important to heat seal so that the bows don't look messy and you haven't got any bits fraying. So then what we do is we wrap it round again, turn the bow upside down. I'm holding the middle with my finger so that it doesn't come loose. And then we just pop a little bit of glue. You don't have to put glue all the way around, just that little bit would be fine. And then make sure there's some right on the tip of the ribbon. And then we wrap it around the middle of the bow. And now the clip is so I can fasten it using my right hand, which is one that I've glued with. And we open the clip, push it into the middle and close it. And it's as simple as that. And that is what I do on all of my bows with clips, including the glitter ones. So we would open the clip, stick the glitter around, bring it all the way around, cut it to the size you need unless you've already cut it. And then open it up and stick it down again. And it's inside. Now, this also secures the clip to the bow in case this ever comes unstuck from the material. It's still stuck on with this. 
I don't find that it causes any issues with gripping onto the hair. It still works absolutely fine. Never had an issue with it. And like I say, it gives it an extra bit of sturdiness that helps the clip stay on the bow. So I hope that's been okay for you. If you want any more instructions on how to do this, then drop a comment in the comment section and I will get back to you. I will also do another video on how to attach hair elastics or bobbles to bows, which is exactly the same on these as it is on these, the ribbon and the glitter. Um, it's all the same method. You do it on any type of fabric. Um, and it is very similar to this where you stick your bobble on and wrap it around. But I will do a video just to walk you through it. So I hope that's been all right for you. And you could also subscribe to the channel, make sure the notifications are on and go over to Facebook if you have one and find Ellie Pops Bespoke YouTube on Facebook. I'll put all the links um, in the description of this video. So thanks for watching. I hope it helps and good luck on making your bows. Bye.